Here's a spellbinder, a sport of fishing turned commercial. Tuners, hundreds of them, and tons to take home. The fisherman's delight. No bait, just a feather and a hook, and there you are. This fishing hole is off the Galapagos Islands, the angler's paradise. No sitting and waiting. Here's action and plenty of it. There's never a nibble. It's always a bite. And up comes another monster. That's fishing for you. Action over the high hurdles. Athletes train for a contest that takes stamina, speed, and a staunch heart. The obstacle race is at times all wet. A water jump offers a threatening hazard, but sure-footed runners negotiate the jump with confidence and no sprained ankles. Here is truly an unusual picture. It's been slowed down eight times its normal speed. The broad jump is always a thriller, especially when it's analyzed by the slow motion camera. Here is plainly seen the strain on every muscle of the athlete's trim body. Now the high jump, again slow motion. This time showing how he turns his body to clear the pole. A remarkable study in timing and muscle coordination. The pole ball, always a spellbinder. The best grandstand seat in the stadium won't give you this scene. Over he goes, nearly 15 feet high. Athletes tried for years to clear the pole at 15 feet, and it was not until 1942 that this feat was finally accomplished. Here's a new one for the ski fan, skiing on the sand. It looks pretty and graceful, if you do it, with a nice, cool plunge get the finish. But everyone isn't expert. Some get off to a good start to find the going pretty rough. Some get all tangled up like a Chinese puzzle. Yes, it's a great sport, if you like sand in your hair. More thrills with water skis. If you fall here, at least you fall on something soft. Hitchhiking on the ocean with a seaplane for speed. Now watch this fellow dash across Florida's famous Biscayne Bay. There's speed for you. Now for the stuntmen. Surfboard stars over the high hurdles. Some do it, and some don't. Here's one way to come to grief on water skis. Slowed up, you get a better idea of what happens if you slip. Sport in the main wood. Spellbinding thrills as kayaks shoot the rapids of a roaring mountain stream. It's a four-mile ride with plenty of action and plenty of water. The idea is to keep your head above water and your kayak going in the right direction. Some prefer flat bottom boats for the ride. The tossing they take is worse than a heavy sea. You have to be a sailor to take this kind of treatment. Here 
Here's one that is really going places. More spellbinders with the outboard fan. Here's a sport that's fast and furious. Down and around the course they speed at breakneck pace. Call for the cameraman. The only thing damaged are the boat and the owner's feelings. The sport of king. A steeplechase race packed full of tumbles and spills. Two and a half miles to go. Watch this remarkable spellbinder as the horse literally stands on his head. It's a hard, grueling contest for both jockey and horse. From the time the horses leave the paddock until they speed across the finish line, there's spectacular entertainment and pulsating excitement. On to the winning post, the leader drives, straining every muscle in his body. More hair raisers as the motorcycle maniacs tackle a tough hill. Almost impossible to negotiate, but there's no stopping these fellows except the top of the hill. race to new records. It's the Jalopy Derby, or the last dash of the Leaping Leaner. Daredevil drivers pilot the battered hulk over a perilous course. 150 miles of bumps and jumps, and the old crate can take it. Livers, tin cans, and assorted wrecks. It's a free-for-all over tricky roads of mud, twisting turns, and chuck holes. Dirt and sand up to their hubcaps, but everyone is happy and striving to win. It's a spellbinder of a different kind, and one that tops them all. 